Hello, hello, welcome to another edition of House Arrest. We are live, we are right in the center of Hollywood, California. I'm freaking out because as always, as you know, we have 30 minutes to make over our space, just 30 minutes. So I have a lot to do and I'd love to get inside. This is Lisa Laporte, by the way. Yes, Lisa Laporte, I assumed you. Yes, and I'm Clive <laughs> Pierce, that's right. Now, we love having a challenge. We love a 30 minute takeover. This one, if you like, Hello, the public again. If you like a bit of tension, you're going to get into this episode because we're not quite sure we're going to pull this one off, correct? That's always a possibility. But particularly with this one. <laughs> particularly with this one. We are outside the home of one of the hardest working actors in Hollywood. His name is Danny Faisenfeld. Um, fans of animation and Netflix will know him for the brand new number one movie on Netflix. It's called Chicken Hair and the Hamster from Darkness. I learned that. He can sing, he can act, he can dance, he can play the piano. I'm sure there's something else he does well. You'll probably find out about that as the show wears on and on. <laughs> but he has a design dilemma and we're going to fix it in 30 minutes, ideally. Should we go and see? Yeah. Yeah? I can hear piano music. I think he's playing. Hello. Hello. Hey, welcome. Danny, face and How are you? How are you? So good to see you, Lisa. And you're live. Good nice to see you. We've never had a musical introduction on this show. Before. Well, there's always a first. Yes, yes. yes. There is. And we're not just three stars of this show because down here, down here is Johnny. Johnny. This is actually John. Johnny's place, and I just live here. Aha. Uh -huh. The Johnny's roommate. Yeah, pretty much. Let's, let's just, can we step over here? Sure, I'm going to take, take the room in. Yeah. And I'm sure the porter does as well. What? Absolutely. I nearly mounted you Yes, then. you did. It wouldn't be the first Never time. Never mind. <laughs> um, wow, so this is a very, um, how long have you lived here? I have lived here 19 years. Wow. Which is not much less than my actual age. No. That's not true. say, you look yeah. suspiciously young. Just to remind people watching at home, we do want questions, we do want interaction. We are the first live interactive design show in history. Did you know that? I did know that. Kind of getting the point. So questions later on for Danny, for me, for Lisa. Make sure that you uh, jump on and, and take part. Merry Christmas, by the way. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are a bit hot and clammy, but it's Merry the Christmas. Of it's, summer, a, it's a hot right? summer with warm Christmas. The reason why the Christmas tree is still up, by the way, is because I noticed that people act closest to how they should act around the holidays. Look, like this. Ah. So I keep it up to remind Very us friendly. to live in love with one another. Yeah, so it works. And how long has that been up for? It's been up for three years. I have not taken that tree down. That is a true story. Do you dust your baubles? Uh, I don't <laughs> even know what a bauble is, but uh, I definitely dust them. They probably need a bit Constantly. of a wipe. I'm a big duster. Now, yeah. I have to say yeah. something. This is Please. a classic old Hollywood building, and this. you have such great architecture here. I've been here before to just scout the place, and I was blown away by the window frames, all of the cool old touches that we have here in these old what, 1930s? I think it's building? 20s, 30s, somewhere in there. It's yeah. such a good building. Wow. Yeah. I mentioned your movie downstairs, Chicken Bottom and the Norwegian Hedgehog. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Definitely correct. Chicken Hair and the Hamster of Darkness. And it you was, play? I was Lapon, the main antagonist. I was close. And we were you number were. two in the world uh, about three weeks ago. Wow. So, That's yeah. exciting. And we know exactly. um, mini commercials, soaps, everything. Yes, yes. Lots of things that travel through the air and wind up in your airwaves. That's where my face shows up. As we take a little tour, I just want to make note, you have a really nice mix of mid-century meets Moroccan kind of going on in here. Thank you very much. And I really admire that. I think it's great stuff. You know, initially it started with just a disaster and then uh, a friend of mine's a prop master yeah. named Neil. And Neil, as a love gift, came in and he said, hey, you're kind of a 1940s Mad Men guy. And you're also a Pisces, so we gotta put water and we've gotta like make you more mid-century. So I went along with that and there was one left out spot in the house and that was my bedroom. And uh, that's where we had a little bit of an issue that uh, I need your help with. And this is why we're here. Yes. All right, give us the tour do. and we'll find the problem. Okay. Are you all so, right, I'm all right. Did you use the Would you like to follow me? I did, I used they're help. Ladies and gentlemen, they're following me down the hallway. Uh, there's a kitchen that we were not going to look at because uh, we're not going to, and that's okay. This is the Inspiration Wall. The inspiration Wall are artists that I respect and that I would love to be able to uh, utilize, uh, as Tom Hanks says, steal everything from everyone. Um, and so these are some of my uh, faves. And then right here is myself. 
Oh, wow. So uh, this, this is, is the wall of fame. The wall of fame. Oh, I'm going to look through it. Uh, this is where I do, let's go in, most of my work and I spend most of my days. This is, um, yeah, this is really interesting. I do, I do voiceover work, um, but I, I record mine in, in the closet. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, not in this fancy, this is amazing. Oh, thank you very much. You can lock up a brick. So this is my voiceover booth. Uh, this is where I do most of my auditions. I do some recordings for Netflix and other companies through here. But, uh, and then on this wall is where I do anything that is on camera. So whether it's live zooming, callbacks, self tapes, anytime someone wants to see this egg shaped head, that's, that's kind of where I stand. And that's where I do my thing there. You have yeah. quite the setup. Okay, so here's the dilemma. As you can see, I have a nice wide open space, but turn it around to this side. And here's my dilemma. So I was renting out what is now my taping room, was a bedroom. And a good buddy of mine lived there for a while. And I had that studio sitting right there in front of that desk in this open space. And this, oh, this, last is, week, this is the picture of what it was. This is what it was, yes. I see. Let's show, our, let's show everybody at home. So the studio was in this room. Yes. Well, this clutter spot is where uh, my problem area is because all of these things needed a place to go because they were being utilized, but I had no space to put it. And uh, we're going to hopefully transition this into a room so that when the future mother of my children walks into this room, she will have this thought in her mind of this is the man with whom I will bear children. This room is a snare. It's a love snare. It's a love snare. It's a nest. <laughs> Okay, so what's happening, Dia? Well, we need to immediately declutter, and I understand what you're going for here. And getting rid of clutter in a master bedroom is really key for a peaceful, restful suite. That's what we're going for. Sweet. Here. Now, this paint color that you have on the wall is yes. really strong. Yes. And I'm going to be bringing in some furnishings, which we'll talk about. But my goal is to sort of neutralize the paint color okay. and balance the room a little bit and make it a little more... You know, it'll be romantic, but it'll be neutral. Oh, good. As neutral as I can make these blue walls. All right, I'm excited. So we need to bring in my hunky. Now you go everywhere with these people. I go you? everywhere with hunky helpers. You guys are hunky helpers. I'm gonna say, like, to some extent. Why would you take that resume? <laughs> <laughs> so we need to get started. Well, how much time do we have? Oh, right now. Uh, uh, not six minutes and not twenty. Nineteen minutes. Nineteen minutes. minutes. Okay, minutes you ready? Left. Oh, oh wow. Wow. it's Josh Fair and enough. Jasper. Wave to our firesiders. How are we going? Well, Aren't they hungry? Are you guys properly trained by these little boys? Yeah, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Is that we've already talked through what needs to leave the room. So let's get started. We need a couple of bins quickly. Okay. And I think you picked up some bins, right? I did. They're in the kitchen. Okay. Let's, let's start the clock, they say, don't they? On let's the shows. start the clock. Now my goal is to get rid of all of the cobwebs too, but we can only do so much in 30 minutes. Here are the bins you requested. Okay, perfect. So these are the moving men discs that we use to slide out the bookcases. Let's just pile everything into these bins and get this stuff out of here as quickly as possible. We're here to grab a few more. Oh, wow. We really need to get all this stuff out of the corner. Okay, we have, we have uh, uh, eight minutes left. I just made that up. Oh, don't do that. It's very heavy. I don't like to overdo it. I got it, don't worry. Nice, I oh, love geez. that. I'm leaving. Oh, my dresser! Let me go back to need some dresser. I'm doing what I shouldn't be doing. Getting on the top of run. Okay. I'm gonna start hanging curtains. I gotta get this room going. I'm here by myself, as usual, doing work while Clive just misbehaves. Okay. By the way, can you just come over here with the camera a second? Favorite part of this makeover. Hand down here, Mark. Down, 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 down. Love. Love. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I have to tell our viewers that Johnny likes being under there. He's not traumatized by Lisa's design choices, but he just loves <laughs> it under the bed. Flybe, could you do me a favor and check on the hunks? See yes. what they're doing? Yes. Because I still need to. And Danny, could you take out oh, more of the stuff you. that's on the floor in that yeah. corner? Do you mind? We're about to bring in an item. Do you want to announce it? Yes. So we ordered a sofa from Wayfair.com for this room that is a faux leather and it's a brown leather and in a minute you'll see and i'm hoping that it will neutralize some of the blue now um blue and orange are sort of complementary colors on the color wheel and our producer printed out a color wheel and you can see blue across from orange so by using using a burnished brown sofa i'm trying to neutralize all the blue in the room i have lots of accessories with soft oranges in it, because I really want to tone this down. You'll see how it happens. Behold, a sofa. And you wanted a sofa in this room for I some did. time. I did, yes. Feel courting. Whoa. It has to be assembled. This is your love sofa. Ooh, yes. I love love. <laughs> okay, I have uh, someone with a question. Okay. Oh. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Deanna. I am from New Orleans, in case you can't tell from New the Orleans. All right. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the show. What's your question? Thank you. Um, so I, I watched your your movie, Danny. Um, and, oh, okay. Yeah, and I was like, ooh, I need to know, I need to know. And Lapin, he was great, right? Great villain. Um, so my question is, how did you get into voiceover? I have some, my, my kids come from theater and they really have expressed interest in this. And I, we, you know, um, we don't know where to start with it. So tell me what you got. How to get into voiceover. Is that, yes. or animation, yes. is that the question? Yes. You know, I don't think that there's ever any definitive answer how to leverage into sectors of the arts. But I think in general, um, it's really smart to uh, take a class. But uh, what I find in animation is that people that have musical backgrounds end up excelling much more quickly. They both there's do. A, there's mm -hmm. a deep interlink between those skill sets. Awesome. And so uh, my background was music, and that has really helped me because the primary things you utilize in animation are pitch, pace, and timbre. Mm -hmm. And it really gives you an understanding of how to utilize your instrument so that you can incorporate that both both in animation, but also it translates into on-camera acting as well. Sounds like your children are going to become clients of Danny Faison. <laughs> <laughs> that is um, quite, quite a possibility. Favorite, listen, we're going to get on with the makeover. Thank you very much indeed for calling into the show. I want to just sort of style the bed. Don't disturb Johnny under the bed. I won't disturb Johnny under the bed. Now, I found a throw that has the blue color of the paint on the walls and that soft sort of apricot orange color that we're going for. And what this will do is sort of neutralize things, as I mentioned, but it still has a richness and a tapestry to it. So it goes with the Moroccan aspects of the building. What is- Five minutes left. Five minutes. Let, let me put these pillows on the bed. You can leave the blue and brown ones on. Nice. Now, if you turn around and look at the sofa, sort of a burnished leather. It was not more than $500 on Wayfair. Danny gave me a budget to play with. Let's see. Clive, one of these. It's good, I'll tell you, no wonder people turn to you at a time of crisis. Yes, indeed. And if you could plug those in. I would love them to be straight, Josh or Clive. Can you turn that table so it's straight if it fits? Yep, good. Okay. Come, Lisa, join us on the arm. Is there any, is there like a towel boy? I'm so hot. Or in, they or have those in sports. Or a gin and martini person. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now you're it's talking. It's kind of handy. Oh, okay. I mean, looking over there at the bed, it just, the lamps, you're, you're very clever, Laporta. So the lamps pick up on the blue and the wall. This picks up on the sort of orange color. Yep. Honestly, like what it feels like is it feels like I've entered a mature man's artist room. Uh, Lisa, you come I'm enjoy this. Staging, it just kind of comes together, don't you think? It does. Uh, to all the viewers at home, thank you for joining us on this very hot, very <laughs> frenzied house arrest journey. Thanks to Danny Faisenfeld, our celebrity guest, to Johnny under the bed. 
I've never said that before on so television. So that would be <laughs> helpers, Josh and Jasper. Josh and Jasper, and we will see you next time on House Arrest. Take care. Thanks for watching.